So let's take a quick look at uh, some scrolling performance and how uh, a hover effect on an element can really uh, make some serious jank and um, really not allow you to hit that 60 frames per second scrolling. So I've got a demo here with a bunch of elements. Uh, as you hover over them, you see that the box shadow changes and that causes a, a, a paint uh, to happen. Uh, and we'll, so what we'll do here is we'll record uh, the timeline in Chrome and we'll see um, the frame rate as I scroll. So I'll hover over one, you'll see that it triggers a paint down there. As I scroll, you'll see I'm busting that 60 frame a second um, timeline there and I'm really just hitting 30 frames a second and just jumping all over the place. And it's, um, you basically, you've just ruined your scroll performance without even doing anything. So what we can do is, as that article uh, stated in HTML5 rocks on avoiding unnecessary paints, is you can disable uh, the hover effect as the user scrolls. Uh, this is slightly different to the demo uh, in that it uses pointer events none on the body. So basically the cursor passes through the body and then uh, no hover effects uh, will actually happen. Uh, and you'll see the performance difference here when I do another record. So what I'll do here is I'll disable hover, start recording again. And you see that I can actually still hover over these and it'll still change and it'll still see the paints. But as I scroll, you'll see that now we're sitting nicely within 60 frames per second because as we are scrolling down here, it's added the class of the body, which adds pointer events um, and we can have be buttery smooth with our scrolling. It's really cool.